Hey guys, what is up? It's Cameron, and today I'm going to explain to you guys why I'm getting rid of my new car. So I bought my car about a month ago. It was a car that I've been looking at for a while. However, it's just been giving me problems, and I really don't want it anymore. So for those of you who don't know what car I have, I have a 2016 Hyundai Genesis 3.8 Coupe. It has a six-speed manual transmission, a 3.8 liter V6 engine, producing 348 horsepower to the crank, or so Hyundai says. When I bought the car, I was really excited. I was going to modify the car, you know, uh, drop it low, put some rims on it, cold air intake, uh, headers, exhaust, you name it, I was going to do it to the car. But the day that I drove it from home from the dealership, I broke down. When I broke down, the car just completely turned off and I was going 60 miles per hour and I, I had to pull over to the side of the road. And quite frankly, it was very embarrassing because I had just spent $25,000 on a car. For those of you guys who have never bought a car before, when you buy a car, $25,000 at 19 years old, that's quite a bit of money for me to be spending. I bought the car nonetheless, and I was prepared to make payments and do what I had to do to keep the car because it was a car that I liked and that I wanted, quite frankly. I wasn't settling by any means. So I drove the car home and it broke down and I took it into the service center and they said that everything was gonna be covered by the warranty. Thank God I had a warranty. So on Friday, this Friday that just happened, like four days ago Friday, I was driving home I had just gone to a car meet and I, I was going from fifth to sixth gear and the car stalled out. Uh, I The car entirely just locked up. Like I, I was I was rolling and I might as well have hit people. The steering wheel was locked. I honestly, I don't know how I got the car to the side of the road. The next morning, the first thing I did was I took it to the dealership and they told me that the transmission was going to have to be replaced as well as the clutch. Over the last couple of days, I've been working with the uh, service center to try to resolve the issue and unfortunately I might have to be paying $1,400 for a clutch that should be covered under the warranty. I understand that Hyundai's are generally very good vehicles to the right owners. I guess I, uh, I'm just telling you guys before you buy a Hyundai, uh, just do your research and I'll keep you guys posted on any updates with the situation but I am filing Lemon Law on this vehicle in the state of Texas. I, I I meet the qualifications for a safety lemon law, seeing that I almost died on Friday. If you haven't seen my most recent video, be sure to check it out right there. Uh, if you guys are new viewers out there, be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, comment down below what you guys think of the situation, and tell me what car you guys think I should get next. I hope you guys have a good day slash night, wherever you may find yourselves, and I will see you guys in the next video. I don't fucking care.